Hamish is here, and he's brought along his first man of the year. Morning, guys. Good morning. That's right. I've brought in your friend and mine, Craig Lynn. Yes. Director, okay. before you buy. Nice oh, yeah. work. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, so last year we um, covered off a few things that you could look at yourself Yep. Uh, if you were going to pop along to a house. Can you give us a quick recap on those? Yeah, there were just a couple of simple things to do with the shower and some joineries. So with the shower, just test it, spray the water in the corners. If there's water coming out of the corners of the shower, it could be leading to leaking problems, which is a bigger problem down the line with re releasing the shower and yeah. framing, etc. And with the joinery, it's just um, to see if your sills are rotting, just give it a little tap with your finger or with a pen, and if it's making a dull sound, then we've got a bit of rot involved, because a lot of people will just paint the joinery before sale, so you can't see anything. I may have been guilty of that myself once upon a time. <laughs> Only the one, and it was... it was. What a dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was years ago. <laughs> How important is it, Craig, to get a professional like yourself to well, come in and check it? the thing about it is, like you say, a lot of people are investing their hard-earned money. It's, you know, a lot of houses are all over a million dollars these times, so... You've got the big ticket items, which is the roof, the cladding and the joinery, which is to replace a roof, you're looking at between 10 to 15, 20 grand. Replace your joinery, could be upwards of 20, 30 grand. Replace your cladding, which could be gone, or the bricks are failing, 40 grand. So, so you at least need to know what is yeah. coming in store when you factor that into what you're going to pay. So what yeah. else do you check for? We go under the house, we check the footings, the piles, um, underfloor insulations, we check moisture in the walls, uh, around windows. We check the exterior, we go on the roof, check the roof linings, check the um, underside of the corrugated iron, because a lot of houses are corrugated iron or colour steel roofs in, and underneath you can't see anything because of the paint, so underneath you can see where it's starting to rust. Uh, we check the roof framing, electrical, plumbing, drainage, right through. Well, pretty much everything. Yeah. Everything from top to top to roof. Does it take a while? It takes about an hour. And for the sake of it, you know, it's like a four bedroom house will cost you 485 plus GST and you're spending 1.3 million. And, you know, if I save you 30, 40 grand or say it's mm -hmm. a perfect house, you know, for 400 bucks, yeah. it's pretty cheap. And uh, what, what's the worst thing you've ever found on an inspection? Well, it was actually not so long ago, actually, out in um, out Beachlands Way, there's a house there and it was a two story and they'd fully enclosed the underside of the house and they did it without a building consent. And they put it all in, put the windows in, they cladded it, lined it, no insulation, no head flashings, no window flashings at all, sill flashings. It was all sitting in the, um, in the, in the dirt on the bottom. The back was, had a big hole where all the pipe work had come out. And I said to them, has it got a consent? And they said, no, no consent. And they were selling it as is. And I said, well, to get that up to code, it's gonna cost you about 100 grand. Wow. Whoa. So um, the owners of the house actually came down in price to meet them halfway. Um, and they were happy to go through with the sale, but you know, it's, it's those sort of things that if you were to buy it when you weren't looking, knew what you were looking mm. at, you would have been caught out with that. So obviously these are problems that happen all around the country. It's heavy. How do you find a good inspector in your area? Um, well. Well, well. Can you see my logo? Yeah. <laughs> Before you buy, got it. Before you buy. But you're not everywhere though, are you? I go Auckland wide from North Shore to South Auckland. So There's um, other parts of the country that aren't Auckland though. No, but just Google <laughs> something I know, up. I know. Get on the internet, have a Google, but yeah. search and have a read through their um, reviews. Right. Make sure that they've got some good reviews and hopefully they're not family members writing them in there for them. But check, yeah. their, check their qualifications as well. So that's the key. Um, but like I say, for the price of it, it's it's worth a check. Uh, and Craig, I wanted to ask while you were here, why would people not get an inspection? It just seems like it's something you should do every time. Well, it's it's like buying a brand new car. You buy a brand new car, you get a warranty. Mm -hmm. So there's not, you know, you don't expect anything to go wrong with it. It's like a house. You generally a brand new house will have a seven year warranty on mm -hmm. it. But when you've got houses like Greyland, Ponsonby, Herm Bay, which are all 100 years old, it's like buying a classic car. You're going to have a mechanic come and have a look at it and make sure it's not full of rust. Right. Yes, you are, because classic Holden Kingswoods from 1974, they can have a few issues. Ooh. Let me tell you right now. For <laughs> hey, Mish, have you got anything to add? Ouch. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but um, should you have smelly shoes at home, you can use activated charcoal to stop them smelling. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Better living. Better living. Better living. My man. Yeah, you don't rock through that. No, the whole, the thing that, stuff, I think Hamish. the whole point and is... leave them at the door so people can't hear it. That's exactly right, Craig. <laughs> no, um, uh, I think the point is covered, isn't it? It's yep. you get a professional to do the job. It's why mm. I like to get the man to come and talk to us, or lady, depending on the, uh, the week. Right. Yeah. Get the correct yeah. advice early on. Save yourself down the road. Not only that, we can come and have a look at your house before you sell it. 
and see if there's any issues that you can fix up so you get topped up. Nice. No, there good you job. go. Nice work. Thank you, Craig. Pleasure. Excellent. Yeah, thank, you. thank you, Hamish. Probably Absolute great <laughs> advice.